Many of you know that I've ordered a BYD Addo 3 electric car. People have sent me some photos of BYD's SEAL electric car, which is a sort of a Tesla Model 3 competitor in China, and it will be in other countries when it's sold there soon. Plus, they've also sent me some photos of another electric car that BYD make driving around in Australia. Now, the SEAL and the BYD Dolphin will be two of the best-selling cars in the world within the next couple of years. They're going to change the market. They're coming to Australia, to New Zealand, I believe. Many other countries around the world will be selling them very soon. And BYD, I'm going to go out on a limb here and predict they'll become the second best-selling automaker here in Australia within the next few years. Companies like Ford, Hyundai, Kia, Mazda, all of them should be very concerned about the market share that they will lose in many right-hand drive selling countries. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thanks for tuning in. Big thanks to our Patreon supporters. Really appreciate what you guys do. I've got a, I'll have a new video coming up very soon. Also, YouTube members, thank you as well for being a member of the channel. Great to have you. By the way, if you want to become a YouTube member, you get access to about one video per day, which I do in advance. We then will show that video on the channel about three or four days after it's released to our members. So if you want to be a member, I'll put a link in the description below. The BYD Seal and the Dolphin Hatch are both going to be sold in Europe. Many countries all over Europe. Also, many countries around the world, including places like Brazil, Costa Rica, India, Australia, New Zealand. Yeah, the list goes on and on and on. However, the question for me is, what's interesting to me right now and to a lot of Aussies, a lot of Kiwis, when are we going to get, get the BYD Dolphin? When are we going to have a truly affordable electric car available for around 35000 Australian dollars? That's around 22000 US dollars. When are those going to come out in Australia? No one really knows. But... One has been spotted driving around in Sydney. I don't think it's going to be very long. The upcoming 2023 BYD Dolphin Electric Hatch has been confirmed for Australia and has been spied in Sydney. Now, Luke Todd, Managing Director of BYD's Australian distributor EV Direct, has confirmed that pre-orders will begin before the end of this year. So they've got a month, or just over that, five weeks to start pre-orders. For the Dolphin. So what is the Dolphin? The Dolphin, the BYD Dolphin, is similarly sized to a small Toyota Yaris, but the interior of the car is actually bigger than the interior of a Toyota Corolla. That's one of the reasons I love it. It's small bonnet, very, very, very big interior based on the actual external dimensions of the car. It's brilliant. Now, Wheels Magazine claim it's going to come at a price point of $30,000. That would make it around $20,000 US dollars. That would be an amazing bargain if that were the case. I don't think it will. I think it will be cl priced closer to $35,000 Australian dollars for the cheapest variant, but it could be cheaper. I don't know. Now, the thing is, BYD have confirmed that pre-orders for both the Seal and the Dolphin will be available by the end of this year. So you should be able to order a Tesla Model 3 competitor for probably a bit less than a Model 3, I'd say maybe 20% less, but potentially within five weeks, within five weeks. And you should be able to order a direct competitor for the Toyota Corolla, which is electric and a much better car from the reviews that I've seen and the review I did on that car. I'll put a link in the description below to the review that I did on that very soon. So really, this is a big disruption. You're talking about the Addo 3. This, the Addo 3 is going to be one of the best-selling cars in Australia next year. I'm pretty confident of that as long as the BYD distributor in Australia gets their, gets their things organized, gets themselves... I mean, I haven't got my car yet, put it that way. And I've paid for, the, paid for it, what, five weeks ago? I haven't heard anything since. I don't even know if they've got the money. So yeah, that's, that's why the customer service side there... Big improvements need to be made. There's no question about that. I think even the BYD fans now, I've been saying this for a long time, I was crucified on their social media pages. They just tore me to shreds because they were very emotionally very emotionally attached to their cars. And I understand that. But I think a lot of them now have kind of come along and said, you know what, fair enough, Electric Viking. We kind of see where you're coming from now. I think you were right. Fair point. Um, I mean, yeah, fair point here is I paid for my car. 
transferred the money, paid a bit, I've actually paid extra, I paid $30 extra to make sure the transfer went through within a few hours. I called them a week later, they said they didn't have the money. And I haven't heard from them since, that was five weeks ago. That's the kind of customer service that I'm saying needs to be improved. New Zealand's customer service, from all reports I've heard, is very good. In fact, they even contacted me today, sent me a message saying, contact us for anything, we'll help you with any information you need. So thank you, New Zealand. Haven't heard anything from Australia, don't know. Anyhow, the point here is, BYD are manufacturing electric cars at an insane pace. They plan to make 3.5 million of them next year, and they're planning to sell a lot of those in right-hand drive markets. What does that mean? There's not a lot of choice. I mean, what choice is there when it comes to electric cars? In Australia, there's not. There's really only Hyundai, which make a small number of cars. There's Tesla, which are obviously more expensive than a BYD, and there's no one else. There's no one else making compelling EVs at an affordable price. BYD is the only one really doing it. Of course, MG are doing it, and MG are going to bring out the MG4. So that would be a competitor to this vehicle. But will they make a lot of them for Australia? We have no idea. What will the price be? I'm going to guess it'll be a similar price. It's a very similar car to the Dolphin. So probably a similar price. There's not going to be a lot of choice. It's going to be MG, BYD, and Tesla really mass manufacturing cars for the Australian market. I don't think there's a lot of other competition there. I know there's other niche vehicles there here and there, but not a lot. Now, to give you an idea of the demand here, the vehicle that I ordered, the Addo 3, has been sold at massive premiums based on the actual price. So people are selling them online now who have ordered them and making a profit selling them. So it shows you that even though BYD is a relatively unknown brand here in Australia, people don't care. They want an EV and they want to get it now. New data on used BYD Addo 3 EVs shows eye-watering seller price markups that people are willing to pay. Carloop says that Addo 3s are now 17.4% above the driveway price of a new one. So if you want to get one now, you got to pay 17.4%, or well, people are paying about 17.4% more than the new price. Used BYD Addo 3 extended range model EVs, that's the model that I ordered, in November 2022 have an asking price of $58,720. That's more than $8,000 more than the price of a new one. And actually the difference is more than it sounds because most of these people have received a subsidy of $3,000 from the government, meaning the price difference is closer to about $11,000, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. So how are BYD going to become the second best selling manufacturer in Australia? Well, the thing is there's not a lot of competition right now. That's the truth because not many car manufacturers, such as Ford, who are in second place, or Mazda, who are sometimes in second place, Hyundai sometimes in second place. It's sort of a revolving door to get the second place award here in Australia. Number one is always Toyota. People here in Australia seem to love Toyota for some reason, even though they're in court all the time with class action lawsuits for faulty products, having diesel powered engines that seem to have numerous problems. People just keep on buying them. I don't know what's wrong with them. IQ levels seem to be challenged here. That's my honest opinion. If you buy a new Toyota, they never, they never ever win reviews. I mean, when there's ever review tests of them from the major motor organizations, even though Toyota pays these companies massive amounts in marketing, they ne basically never win these reviews. So there's, there's more compelling pro products available and people just love Toyotas for some reason. I don't know why. So it's going to be very hard for BYD to take first place from Toyota for a few years. In a few years, I think it's going to change. But for the next few years, BYD will be battling the second place, which is obviously Ford, Hyundai, Kia, and also sometimes Mazda, like I said. But it will be relatively easy for them to take that place. If you think about it, three and a half million EVs per year, they don't need to send that many cars to Australia. They only need to sell about 100,000 cars per year, right? Meaning less than, well less than 10,000 per month in order to take second place from Mazda, who was second last year. They had 101,000 sales in the country last year, and Hyundai were well back in third place with 72,000 vehicles. Toyota's way ahead in, with 223,000. They're not gonna catch them for a few years at least, but it'll be relatively easy to sell 10,000 electric cars in Australia every month. People want them. BYD is pricing them at affordable prices, even with the crazy distributors here. I still think people will buy them. I still think 
Your neighbor will get one. You'll look at it. You'll look at the price. You'll realize it's a good product. It's extremely compelling and you'll buy it. Now to get to get the second place award in Australia, BYD actually only have to sell 8,500 cars per month or around 2,000 cars per week. Considering they say they've got a right-hand drive production line capable of delivering that many cars to right-hand drive markets such as Australia, it seems completely feasible. Considering BYD is ramping production at an insane pace, I mean, they're saying they're going to double their vehicle sales, electric vehicle sales worldwide next year. It seems entirely feasible that they could get there, not next year, but the following year in 2024. Now, if you disagree with me, that BYD will be the second biggest automaker in Australia in 2024. Let me know why. Give me a compelling reason why I'm wrong on this. Tell me what, what alternatives do people have if they want an electric vehicle, which people definitely do. Now, remember, there is a $3,000 subsidy. There's not applying to gasoline-powered cars or to hybrids. That's primarily what Toyota sells, hybrids and gas-powered cars. The competition, they sell hybrids and gas-powered cars or diesel-powered cars. There's really not a lot going on here. Disruption will be easy for BYD because, frankly, there's no real efforts from the competition to sell compelling electric cars. Plus, remember, BYD has an electric pickup coming, right? I'm going to guess that's going to be available in 2024 here in Australia based on what I've been hearing. Plus, they have the BYD Sea Lion as well, which is a bigger-sized SUV, probably similar size to a Tesla Model Y. By 2024, I'm pretty convinced we're going to have the Sea Lion coming from BYD. We're going to have the Dolphin. We're going to have the Addo 3. We're going to have the BYD Seal. Probably a BYD Tang as well, plus a BYD electric pickup truck. That's at least five or six compelling electric cars at affordable prices in Australia. There's just, I don't see any other possible conclusion other than to say BYD is going to take a huge amount of market share. Who are they going to take it from? Probably from Mazda, probably from Ford, probably from Mitsubishi, probably from Nissan, and probably from Volkswagen. Why? Because those are the companies that sell more cars than they do, and none of those companies are selling a lot of EVs in Australia. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.